So you want to make a Minecraft Bedrock Edition server for your friends. Well, in this video, we're going to go over exactly how to do exactly that. We're going to go over every single step. But first, I do want to mention that you need a Windows computer in order to get your server up and running. It's also going to need to be a decent computer because that computer is going to be running a server. While this server can be joined from a mobile device, for example, it does require a computer to actually run the server. On top of that, the server is not meant to be public. It's only meant for your friends, your family, people you trust because it's hosted on your own internet connection. That means anyone who gets the IP address of this server can figure out where you live down to your latitude and longitude coordinates and even DDoS you, which means hit your internet offline using that IP address. On top of all that, you will need to port forward and go into your router settings and edit some things there. So being comfortable with doing things like that is important when it comes to making a better Edition server. However, what if you don't want to have to worry about any of that. What if you want to be able to simply set up a Bedrock server, even from a mobile device, get an IP address and join it? What if you don't want to have to worry about your computer's hardware? Let's say you have a computer, you can play Minecraft Bedrock Edition on it, but it's not that great of a computer. Well, don't worry about that either because at our company, Simple Game Hosting, first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple, we have high quality hardware to host your server on. Meaning you don't have to worry about your computer's hardware, you can even get a server started from a mobile device, and on top of all that, you don't have to worry about security, DDoS, or anything like that because we have DDoS protection that handles all of it. Literally, all you do is get an IP address and join your server. So instead of going through this entire video, getting the server set up, port forwarding, and all of that, go and start your server the simple way at the breakdown.xyz slash simple and start playing Minecraft Bedrock with your friends in just a few minutes. Nevertheless, what if you don't want to host a server with Simple Game Hosting? You do have a computer. You want to start a server yourself. Well, first things first, you want to go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. And this is the Minecraft Bedrock dedicated server download on Minecraft.net. Once you're here, you want to come over here to the left-hand side for the Minecraft dedicated server software for Windows and click the I agree to the ULA if you agree to the ULA, which we do, and then click download. The download will then begin. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. From there, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and then what we want to do is move the file we downloaded to our desktop. It's most likely going to be in your downloads folder. As you can see right here, it is for me. Drag and drop that there. Then once it's on your desktop, you want to right click on it, click on extract all, and click extract. And then we'll go ahead and extract this Bedrock server file to allow us to get the server up and running. Now, I will say generally starting a Bedrock server is simple in comparison to getting your friends on the server, right? You're going to have the server up and running here in just a few minutes, but getting your friends to join takes a lot longer than that. So let's go ahead, let this extract. After it's extracted, we have this folder here. We can actually delete the uh, zipped folder that we downloaded because this is what we need. From there, go ahead and double click on it to open this up. And all you've got to do to start your server is double click on this bedrock server.exe. Now, if you don't have .exe there, it's not a problem. Just click view up here at the top and make sure file name extensions is checked. As you can see, if uh, I uncheck that, it's not there. But if I check file name extensions, the .exe appears. Double click on this and now the server is going to start. Like I said, it's pretty easy. And if you get this pop up here, you want to make sure that it private and public networks are both checked. Both of these will need to be checked for this to work. If not, you want to go through the Windows Defender firewall and make sure that you enable Bedrock server to both public and private networks. Click allow access there and now this server is set up. Let me go ahead and show you how you can join your server. You're the only person that can join your server at this moment, by the way, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that just so you can test things, make sure you can join it, make sure your computer can handle running a server and all that stuff without having to have your friends join and do the port forward. So let's go ahead and do that really fast. To do that, I'm gonna open up Minecraft. So here we are, Minecraft is open, but we actually need to do one more thing before we join the server, and that is open up Command Prompt. We're gonna do two things in Command Prompt. One, we're gonna come over here in the CMD, just search for CMD, by the way, in the Start menu, right click on it, and click Run as Administrator. You may get like a user account control pop-up, and if you do, just go ahead and click Yes there, and then in Command Prompt, what we wanna do is first go to the description and run a basically code and it's this code here it's a lot just paste this in here and hit enter it'll say okay this is going to allow you to join your server from the same computer that is hosting your server 
It's in the description. Just copy the code, bring it into CMD, and paste it. The second thing we need to do is type IPCONFIG, IP config, exactly like that, and hit enter. And we need to get two numbers from here. Specifically, we need to get the IPv4 address and the default gateway. So I'm going to go ahead and get both of these in Notepad. IPv4 is 192.168.1.3. And then the default gateway is going to be 192.168.1.1. Now your default gateway may be different. It may be numbers and letters. And then one under that may be just numbers. We want the one that's just numbers. And it's probably going to be on the second line if you have two. With those numbers retrieved now, our server is started already and Minecraft is open. Once we're in Minecraft here, you can go ahead and click play. And then we want to go over to servers here. Scroll down and click add server. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to name it local connection because we're using our local connection to join this. We're the only people that can use this IP to join. Now what we want to do is go ahead and take our IPv4 address that we got earlier and paste that as the server address. The port can be left the same and go ahead and click save. It's going to go ahead and locate the connection, but we don't even need to do that. Just go ahead and click join. You'll see we join in here on the left-hand side, and we are in our Bedrock Minecraft server. Now, with that being said, your friends cannot join this server. You are the only person that can join this server. There we go, and we are now, as you can see on this server, everything looks good. Everything is working. Now, with that being said, your friends can't join this. I know I've said it a few times, but the only way for your friends to join is for us to port forward. So let's go ahead and do it. First things first go ahead and close out of Minecraft. We also want to stop our server. To do that, come over here and where this like text blinking like place is here, type stop, hit enter, and that's going to shut the server down properly. Now, the good news is we've already got our IPv4 address and default gateway, which is actually what we need in order to port forward. I'm going to go ahead and copy the default gateway and open up our browser. Then in our browser, up here at the top, you would normally type in the breakdown.xyz, simplegamehosting.com, youtube.com. You want to paste in your default gateway. Just go ahead and paste that in there. And then some sort of a login box is going to open up. Every router is different though. So mine pops in from the top. Yours may be in the center. Yours may be in like a GUI and actually look good on a web page. But mine just pops in from the top. What do you enter in here? Well, it's different than your Wi-Fi password. It's specifically your router's password and a username. And we have an in-depth guide on getting that. It's specifically, we have five methods. Start with method one, work through method five. By method five, most people find it generally by method four. Most people find it. However, some people do have to contact their ISP. Nevertheless, at this point, we can go ahead and log into our router. I'll meet you once we've done that. So here we are logged into my router. Now, your router probably looks completely different, and that's okay. But I'm going to give you some of the common terms that port forwarding typically is. So don't worry. I'm going to give you all that. But we also have a guide in the description on how to port forward on any router. Even if your specific router isn't mentioned in that video, it's worth going and checking out because... We go over all of the most popular routers, and a lot of routers are very, very similar. You'll also pick up on a lot of those terms and potential locations that you can look for in your router when you use that video. With that being said, look for port forwarding, or apps and gaming, or NAT forwarding, NAT forwarding, or NAT gaming, NAT gaming. It could be in a security tab, a firewall tab, an advanced tab, or an administration tab. For me, it is an advanced, advanced again, and then single, or sorry, excuse me, port forwarding slash port triggering. It could also be called single port forwarding or forwarding slash triggering without port at all. Unfortunately, I wish this was more standardized, but it's not. But generally, you're looking for apps or gaming, apps and gaming, NAT forwarding, NAT forwarding, NAT gaming, NAT gaming, a security tab, a firewall tab, or it's going to be in your advanced or administrative settings or administration settings. And for me, it is in advanced, advanced again, and then port forwarding slash port triggering. Now at this point what we want to do is go ahead and add a new port forward. For me that's going to be add a custom service. You may have add a port forward or you might have a just big list in the port forward section. If that's the case start with the first one, move to the second one, make sure you save along or save when you're done and you're good to go. Now we actually need to port forward two ports for a Minecraft Bedrock server. The first is port 19132. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, service name or ID, we're going to go ahead and name this Minecraft Bedrock port 19132, just so we know what this is for. For the protocol, we want to make sure it's TCP slash UDP, UDP slash TCP, or both. And it literally may be the word both. 
So you want to make sure both of those are selected. Now for anything involving the word port on this first port, it's going to be 19132. So external port, 19132. Outside port, 19132. Internal port, hey, there's that word port again. It's going to be 19132. For inside port, local port, whatever it says, anything involving the word port, 19132. Now for the internal IP address or local IP address, this is going to be your IPv4 address, which we found earlier. Mine was 192.168.1.3. Whatever yours is, go ahead and enter it in there. You may also have a drop-down list of all the devices on your network. If that's the case, select the device you're creating the server on. Now at this point, we can go ahead and save. Some people will need a public or you know external IP address for their port forward. And if you do, go ahead and skip forward a little bit because everyone who watches this video needs their public IP. That's the IP address your friends are gonna use. But let's go ahead and do the next port forward before we go get that. Go ahead and click apply here, save, confirm your port forward. And then we wanna go ahead and add another one. So add a custom service. This time we're gonna do everything exactly the same except the port is gonna be different. So we can go ahead and name this Minecraft Bedrock again. In, but the port's going to be different. So this was 19133, right? For the protocol, it's going to be exactly the same TCP slash UDP, UDP slash TCP, or both. And it might be the word both. For the external port, hey, there's the port we were talking about, that word port. Except this time, it's going to be 19133 for the word port. Anything involving the word port this time, 19133. We're going to do this again for the internal port, 19133, right like so. And then, same thing for the internal IP address. It's going to be the IPv4 address or selecting the device in the dropdown. Now, if you didn't need your public IP, let's go get that, but make sure to save your port forward and all that stuff. So in the description down below, we have a link to here, which is what's my IP address. It just takes and gives you your IP address back to you. But look at this, this is the information someone can get from your IP. That's why it's important to keep this private for only your friends, your family, people that you trust. That's the only people you wanna give this to, but you can go ahead and click to copy this. Now for me, you can see four, three at the end. That's just so there's no trickery and we're using the same IP once we get back to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now at this point, if you did need this for your port forward, go back and enter it. Otherwise we can minimize our browser and we wanna go ahead and start the server. To start your Bedrock server, just open up the directory here this is your server directory, and then double click on bedrockserver.exe, and boom, the server is started. We also can go ahead and play Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Once we're in Bedrock Edition, go ahead and click play, go to servers. Now, this server or local connection will still work, but let's go ahead and add another server. We'll name this public IP, and then we will go ahead and paste in our public IP address. Now, for me, all you can see is 4.3 again. That's just showing you it was the same one we found earlier, and then click save. Now we have both of these here. It's still locating, but let's go ahead and join the public IP here. When we do, it's going to join right on in, right like so. You can see on the left-hand side, daily videos. That's my Minecraft username, and it has now joined in. Now, you may not be able to join via your public IP. I can, my ISP allows it, but not every internet service provider does. So if yours doesn't, you can always join using that local connection that we had earlier, your local IPv4 address as the IP. The only people that have to use the public IP are your friends and family who aren't on the same network as you. They need to use your public IP in order to join the server. However, you can always use that local one. As long as that's working, you're good to go. As long as your friends can use the public IP. But what if they can't? Well, it could be an issue with your port forward. It could also be an issue with a firewall on your router, but more commonly it's Windows Defender and you need to go allow Minecraft Bedrock, specifically the Bedrock server.exe through your Windows Defender firewall on both public and private networks. We actually did that in this video with a little pop-up, but you can also go edit your Windows Defender settings and change that. But nevertheless, that's how you can make a Minecraft Bedrock Edition server. Now, you don't have to port forward or anything like that on simple game hosting. And if you want to go that route, you can check it out at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz simple. But nevertheless, you now know how to make a Bedrock server. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.